What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode. Of course that title is clickbait. If it brought you here and you're about to leave, don't leave just yet, just wait. Come along with me, but it's still gonna be under par. Albeit on a pigeon putt. Enjoy. First hole. So yeah, I've never played a pitch course before. It's actually quite interesting. It comes with bunkers, little fairways, and tiny greens. And you're supposed to be getting them birdie or holding it in one. Okay, so I'm going to leave the camera here and I'm gonna tee off. You know, the thing is, I would have counted that as a hole in one if that had gone in. I don't care what anyone says. On to hole number two. 66 meters. Again, I'm sticking with my 54. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice indeed. Within about four feet. And someone else has hit a ball on here. It's a driving range ball. And obviously the range is just over there. So please don't kill me. I've got kids to feed. For the bird. Ah, butterfly came in my face. Oh, terrible. <laughs> Nothing like missing a four foot putt on the pigeon putt course. <laughs> Lovely, Mike, beautiful. Back of the green. Oh my, you idiot. Do I bring my kids here yet to start playing this? I don't think they're ready, but it will make them really understand what hitting a ball straight really means. Right now, they just love hitting it. But hitting it straight is just a concept which they don't really see the importance of just yet. Where's my ball? I think I went off the back. Could be in some trouble. Don't tell me I've made a lost ball. Wait, where's my ball? Okay, no, I'm here. I mean, of course I'm playing a Pro V1. I won't play on a normal course because then I'd lose it. But on a pitch and putt, yeah, why not? What a horrible lie. Pop. On to the next. Man, golf is such an interesting and psychological sport. I'm hitting shots from the same kind of yardages I hit approach shots on a real golf course. But because I haven't got that feeling, that fear, because I'm like, ah, you know, it's pitch and putt, doesn't matter. I'm getting them within, excuse the last shot, I'm getting them within six feet. But you put me on a real course and everything just gets duffed and thinned and regardless whether I'm chipping off mats or not, it's just how my mind works. Anyway, on to number four. 87 meters, I'm still using a 54, but that looks a bit more tasty. All right, let's go. Good. Pin high, 12 feet to the right. Whenever right, you walk up to the hole, there's water on this pitch and putt course. There's out of bound. There's a bunker just in front of the green. Guys, it's replicating as much as possible a normal golf course, but miniature. And I really do love this. Really, really do. All right, I'm getting my putter out for this one because uh, I'm gonna make it. It's a big one. I'm marking this because, well, I wanna putt it. And I'm cleaning it too. Yeah, whatever, right? Left it short. Idiot. Okay. Look at all that danger I had to avoid. Look at that. I made it over water. Yeah, albeit I carried the green as well, but that's not the point. The point is I made it over water. I'm dry. Just now I've got a bit of a deft tip to make it onto the green. Ooh. Yeah. 
Green sloping from right to left. Very good, worked out well. It's gonna be a little a downhill slider though, I can see. And it also has confirmed that this is the last hole of the course. I'm quite sad actually, because I really enjoyed that. Okay. 